Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo nightfall guide on the Lake of Shadows, which is one of the three nightfalls available this week. I'm using Night Stalker, Top Tree, the subclass. I'm using Orpheus Rig. Uh, I'm using uh, Midnight Coop as my kinetic, Ikello Shotgun as my energy, and Whisper as my heavy. And the modifiers are Heavyweight, Momentum, and Solar Singe. Now, the nightfall specific reward is a kinetic grenade launcher called the Militia's Birthright. It's, as I say, it's a kinetic grenade launcher and it has a lightweight frame, so it's meant to be really good in PvP, so hopefully this will hit this guide will help you guys solo farm this. So, I never used to like this strike, because uh, because I just never really got a chance to do it as a solo. But now I've come in, I've realised that there's basically four enemies you have to kill. So we're going to use the shotgun. I, I've shown you at the start, because I know some people get a bit salty about me using... Uh, I kill a shotgun. I don't know why now. You know, it's, it's year two now. It's it, it's not easy to get it, but it's easier to get the shotgun now. So, anyway. I'm using the shotgun to take the blights down. I'm going to use it on two of the adds as well. But more so for the blights. Once you take these blights down... Now, I, I was trying to find a really good place to attack this taken cabal. This isn't the place. It's over where that where the the server is so if we go over there we are actually going to have to kill these ads now i'm saying you only have to kill four ads the first time i tried this i wasn't happy with the first run i'd done but the first time i'd done this i just come over here straight away where i am now and the taken boss came out came out i sniped him killed him and went in but the next run i done he done what he done in this run which is he hid at the back, and I had to kill the ad. So I figured, well, if that's happening two out of three times, then it's a, there's a good chance it's going to happen for you guys. So I'll just include it as part of the strategy that you just take out these ads, and then there's no there's no disparity between the runs. So just make sure you use that that kind of broken down truck. Is it broken down truck? Yeah, broken down truck as cover, and take out the goblins because they will shield them. It's a couple of snipers, kill him, and then you can open the door and you can go in. As I said, I, I never used to like this strike. But, again, it's like a lot of these strikes. Once you learn the mechanics, you realise how kind of... Not empty, but how straightforward and, and simple that they are. The idea of using the Orpheus rig as well, the... the the hunter anybody that knows from year one i was a titan main i still am a titan main but the hunters just it can't be ignored it's pve kind of applications are amazing it can do stuff that the titan can't do the warlock can do stuff the titan can't do as well but i'm just having a lot of fun doing runs with the, the hunter at the moment i will do i will start to put out different runs but i'm just trying to nail these strategies down and th this strategy is pretty good you could do the Titan has a way of doing this as well that I'm going to explore. But the, 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 the difference with the Titan is he can't control the adds consistently. Whereas the, the Hunter can with the Orpheus rig giving you your super bag. Now, now that we've come inside, the only thing we have to kill here is that, that, that Solar Captain. My actual, having watched it back now a couple of times, I would honestly suggest maybe going invisible on the platform above and jumping down here invisible. So that they're not tracking you from when you land. Now that we, but now that the captain's down, we're onto the, this outside open area. The only ad that really matters. The rest of it's kind of just to make life simple. These snipers, we've got solar singe, so the snipers will be dangerous. And I take that third one just to get the ammo back. I am killing all these ads for ammunition. But there's a taken knight right at the end. He's the only ad that really matters because he's blocking the doorway. Once you kill him, the door will be available to open and you can go through. And I mean, I said at the start, I never used to like this strike. But when you think about it, I mean, it's a 12-minute run. It's actually a really quick nightfall. And I probably could have shaved if I was going full tilt. I probably could have shaved another two or three minutes off this run. But it's not a speed run. I don't. I do have, I, I have done faster efficient runs, but I'm not a speedrunner, so it's just not what I do. But uh, 
that 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 wizard that is the the specific enemy for this strike i think i'd already killed it that's why i never bothered with it but there's the knight there's two snipers which i'm going to take or attempt to take and the knight once you kill that knight it's game over you can you can go to the end although unfortunately i didn't realize it till i was deep into actually fighting these ads you can just now you can just go past all these ads and go straight to the doorway i'm gonna i'm gonna clear some ads try and get my heavy full if you're gonna go in this door don't push not the way i did uh i'm gonna have to stop saying that it's like i'm saying this is a guide on how to do this don't do it the way i've done it <laughs> i'm just saying don't push that in. <laughs> don't push into that doorway and now i would just now you can, you can just go all the way to the left now you'll see i do it in a minute but you can just go that way now it's clear to go now and just go in the door there's another you know minute saved 30 seconds saved on this part so once we get inside really all we've got we've got one more ad to attack and that is a void shielded wizard and then we're at the boss so with the wizard you just want to go straight for the wizard i'd put smoke down to try and disorientate the wizard uh i think she moved away but i'm pretty sure it caught her as well because she didn't fire at me and it used the shotgun on her and then that's us to the boss so i'm going to speak a bit about the boss strategy before we get there the way the boss works is once you've cleared the blight and the couple of ads that are there there's three ads there you're going to get the boss there's three areas that i attack the boss from because it gives me gives me cover from from more than just the, the boss it gives me cover from different angles we've obviously got momentum so we're going to keep moving about when the cover becomes not cover because obviously with a lot of the a lot of the strikes now in destiny there's there, there there's cover but it's only cover from a certain angle so he's going to then spawn at every he's got like sections when you take his health down so far he's going to spawn in waves of ads and those are taken thrall that's what the tether and the orpheus rigs are for to control the ads you're also going to get a solar knight that's going to spawn in and he'll spawn in on top of one of three boxes that's what the shotgun's for one 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 of these one of these waves of ads spawn in and it was really strange because my tether was i thought my tether was in a really good place and the ads just wandered away from it and it never caught any you know it never caught hardly any of them but luckily it caught enough that i got three quarters of it back so once you take down this blight i head straight forward behind this box with that plate metal behind, in front of it and just try and get a couple of shots on them now it, it can be hard to consistently get crits on them because it, he even though he's a big ad even though he's a uh, you know a boss he seems to, it's almost like when he walks he's he's almost like strutting and his head bob bobbles about and as you can see kill those ads and we're gold we just about got my super back and that was just a small wave now the idea now is to move about and get some more shots on him using this as this another piece of cover that i use so as you can see we're getting another wave i'll try and get another there we go it was really strange because i've seen the yellow numbers come off there i thought it at the time but it never it never gave me as if i'd hit three crits and yet i'm pretty sure i've seen three yellow numbers so as you can see i put it right on the boss because that's the ads are all moving into the center and the minute i put it down they all move to the back of the map i thought it was really strange I noticed it happened. I'd done a run on the Shattered Throne. And I noticed that the minute you start shooting at the wizards, they go and hide behind pillars. And it, it was consistent. They weren't doing that three weeks ago. So I don't know what's changed. But something clearly has changed with the ad's behavior. So if you're wondering what I'm doing now, what I'm doing is I'm keeping my momentum propped. But I'm waiting for my super. Because I cannot attack him in good conscience with all those ads there. And it's really strange how the ads are staying off the platform. So I'm going to kill some of them. We want to take that knight as well. I do not like ha leaving the knight up. I don't like having it because he's the only ad really with a ranged attack. 
So I don't don't like him being there because he renders my cover kind of, you know, my options of cover. He renders renders them non-existent almost. Uh, as you can see, just trying to get some kills, get this tether. Now, if I could do this again, looking at the run, the first tether would be the only thing I would change. You know, and I've got that much on that tether that I've just got a straight back. And this is what I wanted to speak about, his attack. If you stay in one area for too long, he will, it's like, he'll 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 attack you with it. It's kind of like a, he'll slow you, like the, the, like the taken mines. He will slow you and... And it can it can be a bad day all round if he does because the minute he gets that that hit on you where he slows you, he will then focus fire you, and his attacks quite it's it's quite potent. So the only way to get out of it, especially on this character, is to go invisible, and then he will stop shooting at you. And even though the attack slows you, uh, you'll still kind of die forward. And it takes you out of any shots that he's hitting you at the time. You still move. It's not like it doesn't doesn't stop the dodge from working quickly. So make sure you've got that. Make sure you've got your dodge ready just in case. So we've got one more goblin. We're just going to jump on this box over here. Put one crit on his head. And that's him dead. And that is this nightfall guide. It's a quite, quite a quick nightfall. Uh, I've done a DFA run. A tree of probabilities nightfall run i'll put that up tomorrow i've got a uh, my ascendant challenge for this week is up it's it's week four i think so if you check out the week four time trail guide uh shot thrones here so my shot throne guide is is there i will do another one a revised one thank you very much for watching guys i appreciate everybody that watches the videos and comes in and if you've got anything to say leave a comment in the videos and i will see you guys in the next one